What is going on guys? It is a very cold day here in Florida, which sucks because I have to bring in all of the animals from outside. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and catch all these guys up. As you see, I have tubs here in front of me. We're gonna put everybody in tubs tonight, overnight. Hopefully it'll stay warm in the house because we'll have heat on, so they'll be comfortable in here and not outside, but I'll explain some more of that here in a little bit. I came from the mud There's dirt on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Hope they won't shoot me down soon Catch me howling at the moon. Try to 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 catch me howling at the moon. Okay guys, so I don't have a light outside, um, but we're gonna start catching these guys up. So you guys know too, the songwriters of the intro song actually contacted me today, which was super cool. They actually wanna meet up with me and Justin um, when they do come here to the US. So in the description of the videos, I'm gonna start putting their information so you guys can check out their YouTube songs and stuff like that. Uh, but really cool guy, really happy to meet him. We'll talk to him today. So definitely check him out on YouTube if you guys do enjoy that song let's start catching stuff. So first, I'm just gonna start here with the small turtle and we will end all the way at the end with the big turtle. Now normally, uh, these guys out in the wild, they'd be fine in the cold weather. So this is a common snapping turtle found all over America, um, sometimes in Canada as well. Normally they'd be fine, uh, most of the turtles will be fine out in the wild because they can bury themselves in the mud. In this tub, he cannot bury himself in the mud, so I do have to take him out because the wind will be hitting this from all areas around it. The whole water will get cold, so I gotta take him out and bring him inside. So he is the first animal that we're gonna catch. Now I am doing this one-handed because as you can tell, I am holding a light. All right, so now they also did just get a very big meal yesterday. So hopefully everybody's gonna be a little slow. So that's one down, let's go put him away. All right, so after all the totes, I'm gonna put him in the smallest one. Um, you can actually zoom in on his face if you want so they can see him a little bit because I don't think I've actually shown him too much on my channel um, out of the water. But this is your average common snapping turtle wanting to bite everything. Always remember guys, if you ever see a turtle crossing the road, never pick it up by its tail if it has a long tail. If it has a long tail, it usually means um, it's a turtle that will bite you like the common snapping turtle. Um, but you never want to do that because their tail is actually connected to their spine. It's just an extension of their spine like most animals, so you're actually going to hurt them. The best way to grab them is right by the back feet, right behind the shell right there, and you can actually use this as a little handle. They can't bite you there. So we're going to go ahead and put him in here because we do have to catch up everybody out of there. Again, just going to be in here overnight. It's only tonight. It's supposed to get cold and then it's supposed to warm back up tomorrow. So I'm going to close him up. It's not. It's supposed to be cold for two days. It's supposed to be... It gets back up at 70, but then 56 for like four days in a row. Okay, so we're going to have to extend this and probably give them water. Can you see your thumb? Yeah. <sighs> okay, one down. I don't even know how many more to go, so let's keep going. Four. Okay, so I know this is very awkward, but... So next I do have the baby alligators. I'm going to try and grab them both at the same time. I probably look completely ridiculous right now. The things I do for YouTube. Anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and catch these, babe. You wanna come over here? Let's see. Um, you think you can do it one-handed? All right, so Summer's got the light. I'm gonna try and do this. Let's see. Both of them at once. Save me a trip. I'm also gonna take, actually I'll wait until after. We have everybody cut up so it doesn't flood out here. So both the alligators, we're gonna bring them in the house now. I'm gonna open this. No, it's okay, I'll get it. Alright guys, so these are both of my American alligators. The smaller one, which is about a year old now, and this one's about two years old. Um, these guys are awesome. They both came from an alligator farm. 
actually Justin Vanilla Ice Killer, whatever he's been calling himself, the Vanilla Ice look-alike. Uh, he actually brought me these two alligators first when I got my crocodilian permit. I wanted a crocodile, but he ended up bringing me these guys. So I do work with them. They are just alligators to me, um, but they will hopefully be a male and a female that I can use at a future facility. Now I'm going to separate them because they're going in these totes. So I'm putting the smaller one in here. This guy, you want to come say hi to the camera? Open your mouth. There you go. There you go. I don't know if you can see his teeth. Summer's going to try and zoom in on that. Hey, hey. So as you can see, I don't handle them too, too much. Hold still. Hold still. You're okay. You're all right. You want to wave for the camera? There you go. Nice little wave. So something kind of funny. If you actually pet alligators underneath the chin right here, which is actually the softest part of them, um, they do usually tend to wave their hand. No, you're not gonna do it now? All right, we're gonna go ahead and put him up. So we got more to catch and it's getting cold. So he's gonna go in here. Okay, so the babies, the babies, the babies. We gotta bring the babies in too. Let's go, more to catch. All right, so we can't forget about these guys because these guys definitely cannot stay out here. Um, let's see. The water is still a little warm from today, but the snake neck turtle and also a little Castro, the red eared slider. So, import, illegally imported from Cuba, so we named him Castro, but we're gonna go ahead and put them inside really quick. All right, so now that they're in, oh, you are already looking mean. So, this is Carnage, the crocodile, the Cuban Nile hybrid. Um, if you can see right there, there's a face on his back. That's why I named him Carnage, also known as Grim. Um, little evil face, so his water is still warm too, but he also needs to come inside. So this is always fun, because catching crocodiles is a little bit more dangerous than catching alligators. They're faster, they're smarter, they're more agile, but I'm still faster. So there he is. He's about two and a half, three years old now, growing a nice fat belly. So let's go put him inside really quick. All right, so Carnage, which when he's not in the water, it's very hard to see the face, but you have, you're okay, buddy, you're okay. One eye there, one eye there, a nose there, and then a mouth underneath it. Can you see it? Yeah, cool. So that's Carnage, the crocodile. Absolutely love this guy. My first crocodile species, even though he is a hybrid and he's peeing on me right now. You are awesome, I love you so much. Thank you for peeing on me. Oh, look how big he's getting. So awesome. So, but we gotta put him up because we have one more animal to catch. I'm not looking forward to this one. Woo! You guys can see him. There he is. Cute little carnage. My little crocodile. So awesome. All right. One more to go. The biggest one. He gets the biggest tote. This is gonna be fun. Hopefully, I don't get wet. All right, guys, so the last animal we have is actually Squirtle. So, again, this turtle species normally does fine out in the wild. In the cold, these guys are from up north where it does snow a little bit. Not everywhere, but if I can get this top off. Um, but the fact that he does not have mud to bury himself in, uh, can actually die from how cold it will get. Now it's not actually getting cold enough for him right now, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Do not leave him out in the open. Where is he? Oh, he's right here. Perfect. Oh yeah, his water is actually still kind of warm. Hi, buddy. So, come here, Squirtle. There he is, the alligator snapping turtle Squirtle. You are so stinking cute. I'm not gonna kiss him. Yeah, he, he really wants to kiss me. So we're gonna bring him inside even though this really won't affect him too much. Ooh, that was close. This won't affect him too much, but again, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So we're gonna bring him inside. He's going in the last tote. Cannot see anything, because there's a very bright light in my face, but it's okay, it's worth it. Uh, I need you to open. Okay. So 
there he is. He's going in. Whew. Safe and secure for the night. Absolutely love this. So this is Squirtle, guys. If you didn't see previous videos of him, he's my alligator snapping turtle. He is 10 years old. He was actually born in February, just like me. Whew. Whoa, that was actually really close. All right, all right, all right, I will leave you alone. Okay, that was everybody. Everybody's inside. Um, the foxes are fine. We're actually gonna get a bale of hay tomorrow for them because tonight's not gonna be too, too cold, but I guess Summer said the temperature's gonna drop even more, but they'll be fine outside. They, they have, have nice blankets. thick coats. Yeah, they have blankets tonight. You gave them blankets? Yeah, okay. So they'll be fine. Not worried about them, but everybody else is inside where it's gonna be a little bit warmer. <sighs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little prep video for the cold. Uh, this is something that I will have to constantly do when it warms back up and gets back cold again. It's gonna be a never ending battle. But thank you to all my patrons. You guys are awesome, you guys rock. Stay tuned for exclusive videos on Patreon. If you guys would like to become a Patreon, definitely check out the link in the description. Um, there's many different tiers you could choose from. If you guys really do support me in what I do, it is greatly appreciated. <sighs> I'm exhausted, I need to go shower. I'm covered in alligator water. I know I'm freezing cold right now. So remember guys, subscribe if you aren't already. Smash that like button, 2019 style, because the year is almost over. And, and, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay, so you probably thought I was done, but I'm not. I'm going to add something to this, a nice little giveaway. So if you guys can guess how many alligator teeth are in this, okay, a number, the exact number of how many alligator teeth are in this, you will win one of my shirts right there. Boom. But to do this, you have to follow me on Instagram and you have to message me on there. And if you don't have an Instagram, I'm sure you know somebody really close to you that does. So you can give me the answer on that and I will announce the winner in a week when the competition ends on Saturday the 23rd. So if this is something you guys wanna do, follow my Instagram, comment or message me the number of teeth you think is in this and the closest person to the number or the exact number first will win a t-shirt just like that and i will mail it to you so hopefully you guys enjoyed this bye